10 biggest mistakes you can make when flying United's business class, also known as Polaris. And don't miss out on the last one or you'll feel like you wasted your money. Number 10, don't pick the wrong seat. Depending on the plane, United's Polaris usually has a one to one configuration and not all seats are created equal. If you look at the seat map, you'll notice the seats are angled differently for each row. If you're an individual traveler, then the best seats are these, the ones facing away from the aisle next to the window. This will give you a seat closer to the window and farther from the aisle. These seats are more private and quieter than the rest. If those are full, I recommend these in the middle. While it looks like these are closer to your neighbor, you can put up the divider wall and not be disturbed the entire flight. If you're a couple, these are the best options, also known as the sweetheart seats. You can see they're closer together on the seat map. You can drop the divider and it makes it feel like you're in your own little suite together. The other paired seats are fine for couples. Unfortunately, they're farther apart, which makes talking to each other during the flight a little more difficult. They're also closer to the aisle, which means you're more likely to be disturbed by other people walking by. Nine, don't go hungry. There's nothing worse than a flight attendant telling you all we have left is the pasta when you really wanted the beef. United gives you the option to pre-order your meal. This way you won't be left with the last meal choice. When flying Polaris, United will send you an email You've got mail. five days before your flight with the in-flight menu. This will take you to your United account where you can then choose your meal. It's best to do this as soon as you get your email because the pre-order option will close 24 to 48 hours before your flight. Eight, don't miss out on pajamas. On flights 14 hours or more, United offers comfy pajamas to Polaris passengers. Even if your flight isn't 14 hours, it doesn't hurt to ask. The flight attendants might have a few extra leftover from previous flights, and these are yours to keep. Seven, don't mix up Premium Plus with Polaris. Premium Plus and Polaris are two very different seat options, and you will be very upset if you book a Premium Plus seat thinking it's Polaris class, mainly because Premium Plus is not a lie flat seat. United has multiple types of seats, Economy, Economy Plus, Premium Plus, and Polaris. Premium Plus is a great upgrade from Economy with wider seats and more legroom. However, it's nowhere near the level of comfort of a Polaris seat. If you want to see our full review of Premium Plus seats, click the link right here. Six, don't book a non-upgraded plane. Over the past several years, United has been upgrading all of its planes to Polaris class. However, if you're booking a seat and it looks like this on the seat map, look out. This is one of the older style planes and you'll want to avoid it if possible. If you have any questions, you can always call United to confirm. Five, don't be afraid to ask for extras. You're sitting in Polaris. You can ask for extra pillows, slippers, and have your meal held. Oftentimes, flights take off super late, which means it's better to sleep after takeoff than eat a full meal. If you want to do this like we often do, ask your flight attendant as soon as you board to hold your meal. Depending on the flight attendant, they might be able to hold your meal until you wake up. That way, you can eat on your own time. Four, not all business class is Polaris. If you're flying domestically or less than five hours, there's a good chance your plane won't have lie flat Polaris seats. You can tell if a plane has lie flat seats by the seat map. It will look like this or this. Non-Polaris business class seats are comfy, but it may not be worth paying for the upgrade if you're not gonna get all the amenities. Three, don't miss out on the wine tasting. This is a little secret menu option that most people don't know about. You can do a full wine tasting in the sky. Just ask your flight attendant if they have the wine and they'll pour you a few samples for you to taste. Two, don't miss out on the ice cream cart. After the wine tasting and the multi-course dinner, the finale is the ice cream sundae cart. You might be inclined to fall asleep after the main course, but you'd miss out on the hot fudge with extra sprinkles. Lastly, and this will make you really mad if you make this mistake, it's not going to the Polaris Lounge. United has specific Polaris lounges for international Polaris ticket holders. This lounge is much, much nicer than the basic domestic lounge. It has a full service bar, showers, and some have sit down dining service where you can have a proper meal before takeoff. Access to this lounge is restricted to long haul international passengers who are flying Polaris or another premium class on a Star Alliance airline. United has six of these special lounges located at these airports. If you want to see our full Polaris class flight review, then click the video here.